Mr. Kumar Subaya, the CFO of CIAT joins us right now on the show. Mr. Subaya, good having you. Thanks for taking the time out, Neera Jia. Good morning. Uh, one would have thought that the crude price um, relief would have shown, but is it is it the rubber pricing that is hitting the finance that is hitting the operational metrics? Let's start with that, then we'll move on to the business aspect. No, you are right. It's uh, it's largely natural rubber prices, and uh, during the quarter, natural rubber prices in India uh, in the local market reached about 250 rupees per kg level, which is a 15-year kind of a high. And uh, international prices initially were impacted on account of higher freight, and later on, in the SICOM also, natural rubber prices went up. So you are right. Uh, the impact is largely on account of increase in the prices of natural rubber. And does that stay, Mr. Subaya? Uh, we, we're focusing on a minute shape for a bit because that is what has been the pain point, if you will. So how are prices behaving currently? And as difficult as it is to predict, I would love to understand that when you are putting out the internal metrics of what could happen, how are you penciling that in? See, honestly, uh, we were able to predict at least one thing. On that local natural rubber prices, we were expecting it to go down. Uh, when it touched the level of 250 rupees per kg because uh, it was at a significant premium to the international market so uh, and to the extent of about 50 rupees per kg and now that has uh, come down to a uh, import parity level so local rubber prices are hovering around 200 rupees per kg while international prices have inched up and they are also around 200 205 rupees per kg so if you ask me um, in terms of our own understanding of the market, uh, I think our understanding is that natural rubber prices have peaked, okay, and uh, both in the international as well as in the local, uh, we would expect the prices to uh, be either at the current level or should, could see uh, some uh, small drop uh, going into the current quarter. That is our understanding uh, because the production of natural rubber is generally higher during this period between October and uh, uh, middle of uh, January. So therefore, there'll be more arrivals Availability should help in terms of uh, meeting any uh, gap that was there in between supply and demand in the previous three months. That's the way we see the market. Um, Mr. Subaya, good morning. Uh, Tamanna here. <clears throat> Just trying to understand what is the impact of um, this key raw material, natural rubber prices, on the margins hit that we've seen of 400 basis points. And since you're saying that you expect natural rubber prices to have peaked, what is the extent of improvement we can expect? Are there other factors also contributing to that margin and EBITDA hit? No, largely in quarter two, uh, natural rubber overall raw material basket uh, increased by about 6% over the previous quarter. Can we expect in quarter three uh, also raw material prices to move up over quarter two in, in the range of about two, two and a half percent? That's our expectation. And uh, however, uh, uh, as the market has corrected a little bit, uh, particularly the natural rubber, the future purchase prices will start slowly coming down. Uh, and uh, uh, sec what was your second question? Uh, I missed your second no, question. My, my question is how much of uh, natural rubber prices is contributing to your margins? And if you're saying that the prices are going to come down, then what are you expecting your margins to be next quarter? Sink, or uh, H2? No, 6% uh, is what we said, uh, increase in raw material basket in quarter two. And 65% uh, of, or uh, close to that, is the impact on gross margin. So it's about, I would say, 3, 3.5% kind of a impact it had in quarter two. Maybe about 1, 1.5% 1 impact will be there on account of uh, raw material prices in quarter three. Uh, however, we have taken some price increase, uh, beginning of uh, October, in, in uh, passenger car radial categories to the extent of about 3.6 to 4% level. And uh, in case of truck and bus radial, closer to about 2%. So we would like to start mitigating the impact of raw material costs uh, through some selective price increases progressively during the quarter. With respect to our uh, sales to uh, original equipment manufacturer, a reasonable portion of that has a a correction mechanism whereby if there's any movement in raw material prices, it gets adjusted in the selling price with a three quarter uh, months lag. So we expect uh, these two these pricing uh, decisions to have uh, you know uh, mitigate the impact of increase in raw material prices. Going into second half, uh, generally 
uh, quarter four is a good quarter and, and also in quarter one. Uh, on the top line, we expect uh, uh, to grow uh, strongly over the same period of uh, last year. In quarter two, we grew by about a little over 8% year on year and 4% quarter on quarter. The revenue that we achieved in quarter two was the highest ever. So therefore, we expect uh, uh, revenue to be uh, growth to be uh, closer to double digit level over the same year period of last year. And on cost side, uh, while uh, our efforts to continuously uh, look at selling price of tires, we have also taken multiple steps to uh, bring some efficiencies in costs and uh, we are controlling our discretionary costs as much as possible. So these things uh, should help in terms of uh, managing the margins to a reasonable extent. So, so, so the high employee costs which have hit the EBITDA, this is a one-time uh, kind of, or are you expecting this to increase? Your employee bill has obviously gone up, but uh, now are you expecting that to be the no new normal or how do you see that moving forward? Now, there are two reasons. Our annual increment cycle generally is in the month of July. So there is some impact on account of uh, the annual uh, increment cycle. So on a base of quarter two, uh, there should not be any further impact in the current financial year. Uh, however, we also added people. Uh, we commissioned our truck and bus radial tire plant in Chennai. Okay, and also in other locations uh, to meet the additional production requirement there's some increase in the employee cost. So it, it's largely relating to activity. Uh, and even in quarter three and quarter four, as we scale up our truck and bus radial tire plant, uh, we would need additional people and that will have an impact, but it will have a corresponding impact in, on top line. Uh, just one last uh, point, at least from my end, uh, Mr. Subaya. Just trying to understand what your outlook is on the demand situation. In your space overall, demand seems to be a concern. Um, Perhaps not in replacement. What is the outlook that you are seeing? No, I would say it's a mixed bag. Uh, we are seeing uh, certainly uh, momentum both in our replacement market as well as international business. Uh, growth in uh, original equipment manufacturers side is very sub is subdued. Okay, it's in low single digits. Uh, whereas we managed to grow both in international business as well as in in the replacement business in uh, double digit. So we see a momentum. Normally quarter three particularly November month would be a weak month uh, due to uh, post uh, festive season. So from that standpoint, uh, we may have a little bit of impact on account of that in uh, quarter three. However, uh, year on year, we, we, we look forward to a double digit kind of a growth driven largely by replacement and uh, international business. Okay. Uh, sorry, Mr. Subhan, maybe I missed that answer, but I would just love to have one final question to you. How with the global car companies giving out the words of caution that they are, what is the impact on demand for all kind of ancillaries? It could be tires, it could be other things, but are we likely to see a period of slowing global ancillary demand which might wane on Indian companies as well with high or low export exposure? Uh, see, uh, from our point of view, it will, it will have an impact, uh, particularly for those who have high dependence on original equipment manufacturers. In our case, revenue split, uh, about 28% of, of our revenue comes from original equipment manufacturers. So therefore, uh, we do see uh, some slowdown with respect to demand from the existing customers. Uh, and therefore, and that is also reflected in our revenue. So therefore, we expect that trend to continue uh, at, at the aggregate and overall level. However, you know, we we have also got some additional uh, business opportunities in, with respect to OEMs in terms of uh, approval of our tires for the new models. And from that standpoint, we expect uh, some growth to come in OEM. It could be relative to the market growth. It could be uh, better. But overall, uh, to, uh, to respond to your larger question, there could be some impact on growth, particularly for those auto ancillaries who have very high dependence on OEMs in the share of business. Mm. All right. Thank you so much uh, for speaking with us. That was, of course, Sia talking about Q2. Uh, high rubber prices has been the pain point for the company, but important point from the management, they're expecting double-digit growth going forward. They're expecting H2 to be good. Mixed bag in terms of the demand mm -hmm. environment. And they think rubber prices have peaked out. So that's the ad for you.